reality as it were. So the standard phase one is that we're matter in space-time. You know, we're flesh in space-time. And, and relative to what comes afterwards, well, it's all based on belief. So just to not feel the fear, anger, sorrow relative to not having or just to sort of um, allay the fear maybe or the anger or the sorrow of what happens to us after our flesh time in, in space ends, then we tend to have a belief which tends to be limiting. So what I'm suggesting is that belief is very limiting and then we're going to pretend that it's okay we're going to pretend that we're not we're going to live forever we're going to pretend that we're eternal or that at least there'll be eternal life afterwards so that's called belief and that will be a stumbling block block for us and pretense will be a stumbling block we're going to pretend that that subject doesn't exist you know so death and other things don't exist okay? something can actually shift or if you want us to say fix change and improve a situation then that be your situation as to knowing who you be and and comprehending the nature of reality would be to go deeper and further into it and when you go deeper and further into it you tend to actually become very present and in your presence you tend to actually um, be in your point of power and in your point of power you tend to expand and in your expansion you tend to express that and it reflects back as a shift for you and everybody else and all the atoms in the universe and as you evolve everybody evolves along with you so it's called win-win 12-12 gift receive so we're already out of our just human mind because the just human mind is always polarized nothing wrong with that we're designed to be polarized so we're just going to suggest some ideas that, that may help you become unified and again it's not a wholeness because health has a connotation that you're gonna become whole but whole is actually not enough you gotta go greater than the whole so you gotta go geshed out yeah whatever that means it means the sum of its part is greater than the whole or something the whole of the they do and that's just part of the story so we're not saying the story is good bad or ugly we're just saying the story is the story and then we Every story has with it an associated emotion. And, it, and everybody's emotions are pretty much the same, regardless of if the story is different. The, the, the emotion we all experience is called fear, anger, and sorrow, or some combination thereof. So everybody's doing anything they can not to feel the fear, anger, and sorrow. Right? We all don't have enough of anything. And yet what I'm suggesting is that the only time you can experience not enough of something or another is in time. Polarity. There's a there's a church here and there's a maybe a brothel here. I don't know. Or maybe there's a ghetto here and there's something else here. So we're looking we're talking in extremes. And neither is good or bad. So what we're gonna do is take the two extreme and tie it together. And then you go into neutrality or else what happens is this vertical line opens. Because where I place the church is on one end and where I place the something else is on the other end. So that's horizontal. But when we tie it together, there's an opening that becomes the present moment, which tends to be this um, ancient symbol that looks like a Christian cross. Okay. So that Christian cross or that point of intersection is what we're looking as very, that point of power as it were. Right? It's not metaphorical. We're going to have to explain it metaphorical, but it's actual time. So fourth dimension is compressing time. You, you cannot do present. You cannot do a present. You cannot, if somebody says be relaxed or be peaceful or be here now, you cannot do it. You only can be it. Right? And then when you be it, there's happens something happens so if we went if we just went you know whatever right you feel, you feel a difference right and it's there and push and it's, it's gone so it's this here this is happening now we're open to receive or it's a gift received going on already so we can
can rehash more things, more and more and more and more. And yet, it should just be in this. See, the present moment, what's the present moment feels like? Your breathing will change, your heart rate changes, your chemistry changes, and your aura changes. And when your aura changes, it, 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 it radiates out, out and reflects back as you. So it just projects you back again. Then you're trusting that. So if you can ground everything, take it to ground command, it finds its own way. It always finds its own way. Well, it loops back and comes back a little more refining and you ground it again. And you refine it again and you ground it again. All the while your body's shifting. Because the body has to be able to refine it. But it's not the body. The information is the body. The information becomes the body. Or the nothing becomes something. You cannot add something to something and expect it to change. You gotta add nothing. But the nothing tends to be information and light. You can't see it. But you can feel it. Or you can sense it. Or you can have the evidence of it. And there's all kind of variations of it. And yet you just have to sort of style it for your own self. Because everybody's sort of so-called fractal sovereign onto themselves.